focus of many of our next guests, seven novels and four nonfiction books. And these days, he has plenty of material to work with. So joining us now, author of False Light and CEO of Desenhall Resources is Eric Desenhall. Welcome to Wake Up America, Eric. Thanks for having me. Of course, we're happy to have you here. Now, you're considered one of the nation's foremost crisis and damage control experts. So I have to ask you first, how easy is it to smear someone? Very. Uh, in fact, um, the, the novel False Light that is just out this week deals with how you smear someone. What, what is the orchestration of a smear? And what happens is you have a smear artist in the form of a journalist who, uh, who is accused of a sex crime, gets away with it, and the only way to go after him is to use his own smear tactics against him. So interesting, obviously very timely in our climate right now. I have a copy of your book on the decks, and you have this quote in the beginning from documentary filmmaker Errol Morris that says, you can escape from prison, but how do you escape from a convincing story? So let's talk about that a little bit. With the power of social media and character assassination, you say it's more harmful than we think. How do you defend against it? Well, it is more harmful in that it's not just the big and guilty people who are getting hurt. I mean, you're seeing a situation where if a, a young woman uh, sings a rap song and it has certain lyrics in it, somebody might send a video of that to the college she's applying to and getting her knocked off uh, of that school's admissions list. That is not a made-up story. These things are happening because I get the calls. Uh, I don't take cases like that, but the only way to deal with it is, number one, avoiding situations where you are out there. I mean, telling your kids to be careful of what they, what they post. But the other answer is to fight back, uh, but that requires resources. I mean, the Duke lacrosse kids who were falsely accused of a gang rape were able to fight back because they had the resources to hire high-powered attorneys. The average person doesn't have that. A lot of what I deal with in my business is corporate and institutional scandals, but they have the resources to hire me, and even then, it's very, very difficult to fight back. And a lot of what I try to do in this novel is build almost 40 years of life experience mm. into showing precisely how a smear can be orchestrated. Uh, and, and by the way, sometimes character assassination is, is not a bad thing. I mean, most of us would agree that Harvey Weinstein's character was assassinated, but he deserved to have it assassinated. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. You talk about the Me Too movement. Your characters in the book, False Light, deal with the Me Too movement. Where would you say that meets character assassination? Well, it, it, two ways. Um, a woman who is facing a, a sexual assault experience, she has to be willing to have her reputation on trial mm -hmm. if she comes forward. And you will see scenes in the book where my alter ego is explaining to her, if you come forward, someone who doesn't like you from seventh grade mm -hmm. will have power. By the same token, the person who is being accused of the assault is dealing with a character assassination issue. So it cuts two ways. And nowadays, with the internet, everybody is on trial and everybody has the power to hurt you. Right. We have about 30 seconds left. I know you were talking, I don't know if this is the specific case you were talking about, but a female singing a rap song later just being almost canceled. Essentially, Hannah Brown from The Bachelorette went on a huge apology tour after that. Just one of many examples, especially with reality TV stars. But let's talk about cancel culture real quick. About 30 seconds. You were recently involved in an article focusing on this online phenomenon. Do you think it's ever going to stop or is it just going to get worse? Uh, the short answer is someday there is going to be a landmark legal case where somebody gets really hurt mm. for smearing somebody, and it will be the beginning of not the end, but a beginning of a reckoning. And it's sad that it'll have to come to that in order for people to just start hearing people out and stop canceling them. Accountability culture is very different. Author Eric Desenhall, thank you so much yep. for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, plenty more still to come right here on Wake Up America. Getting kids back to school to become the subject of a national debate. We're going to talk about it next.